Good morning and welcome to the House of Victory Fredericksburg. Whether you are joining us virtually or in person, we are so excited that you are worshiping with us today. Today is Father's Day and we want to wish all fathers a happy and blessed Father's Day. Did you know that the month of June is African American Music Appreciation Month? It was initiated as Black Music Month by President Jimmy Carter in June of 1979. In 2009, the celebration was given its current name by our former President Barack Obama. June is set aside to appreciate the contributions of African American musicians, composers, singers, and songwriters in American culture. We honor the history and rich African traditions that gave birth to the various types of music that we enjoy today, such as gospel, R&B, hip hop, jazz, rock and roll, go-go, and so many more. June is also Men's Health Month. Men and boys are encouraged to take charge of their overall health by implementing healthy living choices. It is crucial that men young and old get regular checkups and be aware of the risk for their age, ethnicity, and lifestyle. Everyone, please encourage the men in your life to take care of their bodies by eating right, exercising, and working to prevent disease. Victory Nation, please join our pastor each Monday at 6 a.m. for the Victory Corporate Prayer via our Facebook members only page. Also, join us on Mondays for Manor at Noon via our Facebook members only page where our pastor or co-pastor will share a word or thought for us to meditate on as we pause and pray. And then during the week, we pause and pray individually at noon. Everyone, please join us for Bible study every Thursday at 7 p.m. via Facebook Live. On this Saturday, June 26th, from 11 a.m. to 12 noon, the men will visit the Thurman Brisbane Shelter to deliver hygiene items that we've collected all month and to pray for those requesting prayer. On next Sunday, June 27th, we will be celebrating all of our HOV students and highlighting our graduates. Parents, please be sure to visit our members only page to complete the graduate informational form today. Everyone, mark your calendars for our Fire on Friday service on July 9th at 7 p.m. This night of worship and prayer service will be in person and will not be broadcast virtually. So come as you are and be prepared to pray, praise, and believe God. Also, save the date for HOV's Ice Cream Social on July 17th. Additional information will be forthcoming. Victory Nation, we would love for every member to be a part of a ministry. If you are interested in joining the praise team, media, or ushers and greeters ministry, please email admin at hovfberg.org. If you are not sure which ministry to join, don't have experience in the ministry you want to join, or want more information on a ministry, send an email to admin at hovfberg.org. Victory Nation, invite someone to church with you. They can share virtually or attend our weekly in-person services. We do not require registration for Sunday morning in-person worship services, but we will continue to practice social distancing, wearing masks, and checking temperatures to ensure everyone's safety while we worship. Please be sure to keep up with upcoming events, our latest messages, sermons, and much more by visiting HOV's social media platforms. You can follow us on Twitter, 
at HOVFXBerg. Subscribe to the House of Victory YouTube channel. Follow House of Victory Fredericksburg on Instagram. Like us on Facebook at House of Victory Fredericksburg. And visit our website at houseofvictoryfredericksburg.org. Please join us for worship service virtually or in person every Sunday at 8.30 a.m. May God bless you and continue to walk in victory.
take this moment to honor these great men. Sisters, y'all ought to make some noise as these fathers come. Come on, you, you right on time. All the fathers, I want all of the fathers to come and to line up. Oh, y'all got to get a wonderful, get a, this is a beautiful picture right here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a beautiful picture right here. Come on, I say give these blessed fathers up. We're grateful for all of these fathers. Come on, y'all spread on across the aisle. Yeah, so, so many of you all, we're grateful. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Amen. Yes, God. Wow. Isn't this a beautiful sight? Yes, I would sing a father song, but they don't, I don't know if they got any father songs. I, I know they got Sadie, they got, for, for the women, they got Sadie, boys that being mama, and all that stuff. I don't know what they gonna say for dad, dance with my father again, I don't know. She said, Father, 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 we pray. Right, listen, that's, that's God's song. I'm talking about something for these human fathers here, these earthly fathers. But we are so grateful for all of them, and I thank God for them, and I'm grateful, because these are good men. Y'all hear me? I said these are good men. Yeah. And I'm gonna keep them up here for a hot second, because I want you to see what a good man looks like. I didn't say a perfect man, I said a good man. And I want you to be able to know that there's something about a good man. A good man will allow you to see him fall, but at the same time, see himself get up. And so we celebrate you, brothers, not because you're perfect, but because you're purposeful. God has given you a purpose to lead, to guide, to instruct somebody. And I'm thankful because many of you have not only played the father role to those who are biologically connected to you, but you have been a, a presence, a mentor in so many ways to so many other people. And I thank God for you. And it hasn't always been easy. Let's be honest. Some of us have had uh, relational problems. Some of us have had baby mama drama. Some of us have had even problems with our children. But you stayed the course. You kept praying. Even when you threw in the towel, God picked it back up and wiped you off and told you, go ahead, they need you. Go ahead, I believe you can do it. Go ahead, I have anointed you for such a task and such a time. And so I want to honor all of these fathers, the HOV family. We want to recognize each and every one of you. And so we have a special gift that we want you to get as you um, as you come in and stand. Amen. Amen. You're not going to let them walk through. Hey, so what's going on, sir? Good to see you, man. That's family. Hallelujah. 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 Y'all get special treatment. Y'all didn't even have to walk around the table to get it. They're going to serve you. They're going to bring it to you. We honor these men. Hallelujah. How many grandfathers we have standing up here? All right, come on, make some noise for the grandfather. How many godfathers? We got any godfathers? All right, how many godfathers? Yes. How many fathers we have? All of these fathers, amen. And we don't even recognize stepfathers because we believe that there is no step in God, that you are. You are daddy, you are not father. yet, not yet. Amen. And we thank God for you. We're grateful. And some of these young, some of these young fathers, they, they continue to grow the church and we're grateful for them. Y'all keep on uh, adding to the youth ministry. Uh, amen. Brother Gerard, Brother Corey, uh, Brother Brandon, all of these young guns. We we're great brother Trey. Hey, I believe Brother Trey got at least four more in them. Uh, Sister Shade, amen. He got four already, amen. So we're grateful. And I just thank God for all of these men. 
I love you. House of Victory loves you. These sisters love you. And we're going to show you right now by just standing on our feet and just thanking you for being the kind of father you are. Come on, make some real noise. God bless you, brothers. You can return to your seat. Amen. And now, we want to have the example of good fatherhood passed down to our, our young men. We want all of our young men to come, all of the young men in the building. We want you to come. Come on, give these young men, these sons, come on, these nephews. Come on, let's give these young men a praise as they come. We're grateful for them. Listen, we got, we have sons from, from all over. We have sons in the house from Texas, from Virginia Beach, from California. We are so grateful for these young men. And it is our prayer Amen. that these, these young men, will grow up to be anointed fathers. Will grow up to be the epitome of what it means to be a godly father. We pray that they have learned from our mistakes. We pray that they have embraced our good attributes and that they continue to hit the floor running. And when they find their good thing, when they find a wife, that they will be fruitful and multiply, and that we'll be able to continue to give God glory. Because the Lord that we serve, sir, said that He would bless us, that we would be fruitful, and we would multiply. And so we want to honor these young men. Aren't they handsome? Aren't they beautiful young men? We're grateful for them. Come on, so let, listen, I'll tell you what, Sister Redeemer, let them walk around, let them get it, and then we'll. We'll thank God for them as they receive their wonderful expressions of love from the house of victory. Come on. There we are. There you go, Jerry. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Give us up. Come on. Let's go to church. Hallelujah. Thank <laughs> you. 
He got his mama's anointed. He got to come on up on the stage. Look at him. There he is. Congratulations, sir. And he's having a, a son, right? Amen. Y'all ought to give God a praise. We're grateful. Listen, I'm so thankful that God has blessed us. And I, I don't take these moments and these opportunities for uh, for granted, Minister Faye. I'm thankful that God has blessed me uh, with a father who I can still look in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Amen. I thought somebody would have been excited. Yeah. I can still hear his voice. I can still glean from his wisdom. And I am so honored today that on this Father's Day that he will be bringing us the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, and I am so grateful because anything, y'all ever seen, uh, what was that movie? Uh, it's probably not a good movie to talk about in church. Uh, What's the Denzel movie with uh, the gangster, the American, what is it, the American gangster? What was it, the gangster movie, Frank? Y'all know, y'all, all y'all seen it, so but, but his nephew looked at him, and his nephew had a chance to be uh, a baseball player, had a tryout for the Yankees, but he didn't go. And his uncle brought him in, and he said, nephew, why didn't you go to the tryout? He said, because Uncle Frank, I want to be just like you. I want to do what it is, whatever you do. And I say that to say, if my father would have been a baseball player, I probably would be a baseball player. If my father would have been a musician, I probably would have been a musician. I say that to say, Brothers and sisters, we're getting ready to get out of your way. 
our music team. Give them a hand praise. You've been blessing us. We thank God for them. But the next voice you will hear will be that of my esteemed father, the Reverend, the retired Reverend Wayne M. Robinson. We pray and ask that God be upon him and that God would speak to him that he may speak to us.
For I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he was astonished at all that were with him at the drop of the fish, a fishing cup, which they had taken. And so was also James and John, the sons of Zebedee, which were partners with Simon. And Jesus said unto Simon, Fear not from henceforth thou shalt catch men. And from when and when they had brought their ships to land, they would sit all and follow him. Y'all want to help me preach? Amen. Okay, you, you can sit down and hopefully you get back up after a while. <laughs>
Now, Father Man, I, I'm trying to get through here. Uh, I'm on time restraints, you see. <laughs> if this mind-blowing experience is to take place, uh -huh. you must understand today that Peter's mind was blown in verse 9. Mm -hmm. But the experience did not start in verse 9. Mm. You see, you can't skip eight verses. And think now is getting ready to happen. Come on, sure. Right. Right. You can't do that. Yeah. We've got to go back right. and see what is happening yeah. that leads up to this shopping okay. experience. Yeah. Before Peter's mind was blown, mm. Peter had a confused mind. <laughs> the man had worked all night. He had fished all night long mm. and had nothing to show for it. Mm. The reason that this was so frustrating for Peter Man is that Peter is a fisherman by trade. Mm -hmm. right. This is the man's game. This is what he does. Mm -hmm. Yet he has nothing to show for it and it's not because that brother is lazy. Mm. The Bible, the B-I-B-L-E says, he worked all night long. Come on. Your Bible reads like mine? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you today, it was frustrating. It can be confusing. I've gone through all of this. Uh -huh. And I don't have a doggone thing to show for. Come on. This is my expertise. Uh -huh. <laughs> Peter was trained in this earth. This is the area he was educated in. Mm. This is the area he was equipped in. He had made investments in this area. Uh -huh. The man had folks, he had nets, he had net work. Yeah. That's right. The man was not in it by himself. Mm. He had partners. Mm. This is his baby, this is his honey bunch. Mm. This is what he was put here to do. Yet, Father Man, the Bible said, he caught nothing. Mm. And I know I am. I know I'm preaching to <laughs> someone like that. Read, read this. On the set aside day. Mm -hmm. It seems like you have tried yeah. to do everything right. Mm. And stuff still goes wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And God knows you know all the big boys. Mm -hmm. You know the shotgun. You know the bottom line folk. And nothing has happened to you. You even go to the right church. <laughs> D-H-O-V Church of Fredericksburg. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. But if you were to tell the truth in this holy room, you have none or nothing to show for it. Come on. This is after tithing, mm -hmm. after giving an offering. Mm -hmm. Man, life can be confusing. Let me hear it again. You can do everything right, and stuff will still go wrong. Come on, y'all told me y'all don't have me preach. Come on, see you. There are times God, that I've worked hard mm. and didn't have anything to show for. Amen. I got up early. Come on, see you. I packed my lunch. Yeah. I went to the job. I stayed on the job. Come on, see you. And we're like, Lord have mercy. Come on, see you. At the end of the day, yeah. uh -huh. it seemed like I was in it by myself. Uh -huh. I heard my Yes, 
Jesus in. And Jesus begins to teach and preach from his boat. All right. Jesus got a floating boat pit. <laughs> Come on, Jesus. Peter said, even though my boat is empty, my mind does not have to be closed. I still want to be open to the things of God and what God is able to do. And I know I'm talking to someone in this holy room. You work hard, serve hard. Things seem to be working the way, not working the way they're supposed to work. You're looking at some ungodly folk who seem to prosper. That's what makes it so confusing and frustrating to you. You try to do everything right and still stuff goes wrong. Folk do wrong and things go right. You come to church every Sunday. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Your cousin that never goes to anybody's church anywhere yeah. Oh, yeah. does keep hope. Mm -hmm. Here you are praying to God every day. And then, by the way, I don't see your names on the 6 o'clock Monday morning prayer. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm not going to stutter. You need to get up and cover your family. Amen. Get up and sign in. I know you got ready to go to the sign in. Get your grandchild and help you sign in. Amen. Before you get busy with busy, cover your family. Amen. Amen. Let me go. I, I'm on time restraints. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to tell you today. You better keep your mind open. Because you don't know what Jesus, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, is getting ready to do in your situation or when he's ready to do it. So don't close your mind. My boat is empty, but I've got to keep my mind open. Amen. Blessed is the man that walks out of the council of the ungodly, nor sit in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate both day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth fruit in his season. I've got to keep my mind open. Mm -hmm. You see, men, we're more than conquerors. We've got to keep our mind open. No weapon formed against any of us shall prosper. My boat is empty, but I've got to keep my mind open. Though my boat is empty. There is Jesus, the Lamb of God, mm. in the boat. Preaching and teaching. In the boat. Yeah. Now, Father Dude, if you're on Calvary, you will think that this is Peter's first encounter, first experience with Jesus. If you're on Calvary, you'll think that Peter and Jesus just hooked it up. They didn't just meet right. You recall the time that Jesus was preaching in the synagogue and, and, and a man with an unclean spirit was in the church, mm -hmm. sitting in the church, kept interrupting Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Jesus had to rebuke him and call the demons out of him in the worship place. That was Peter's church. Remember when Jesus, Peter took Jesus home with him? Peter had a mother-in-law in the field. Jesus goes in his home and heals her. She starts putting her house together. If I had time, I'd put my kickstand down right there and talk to you girls about when you get your deliverance, you get your house straight. <laughs> Jesus shows up at Peter's wow. job. It's almost as if Jesus has an APB on Peter. He goes to worship. Jesus is right there. Goes home. Jesus is there. Now Jesus has a nerve to show up on his game. <laughs> you know the lessons we are learning from this is that some folk don't mind Jesus or listening to Jesus at church. And a few will listen at home, but on the job, if it be, uh, with the fret or with the largest, you see it's one thing to shout and sing at church, we may say or oh, oh, nod our head at church, but it's another thing to allow Jesus to speak to you and your workplace to speak to you yeah. when you are serving outside of the church. Watch what Peter, watch what Peter does with Jesus in his workplace. 
This is not taking place at church. No, no, no. But on his job. Peter is able to allow Jesus to use his boat. It's Peter's boat. It's Peter. Peter allows the word in his workplace. When stuff did not work, he left the word in his workplace. And the text says, Peter surrenders to Jesus. His boat. I read it to you. His boat is his money maker. Mm. This is part of his equipment. He, he is a fisherman. He, he gives his money maker to Jesus for the advancement of the kingdom of God. Mm. That's why most of us have not had a mind blowing experience yeah. mm. because we won't yeah. give Jesus our money maker. Yeah. Mm. We won't give him our talent. Mm. That's what it's saying. We won't give him our gift. He gives it to us for his glory. Yet and still we become selfish. We'll walk away from the assignment. Yeah. Oh, we'll give him a little time. We'll give him mm -hmm. a dollar here and there. Mm -hmm. What you don't understand is when you give to Jesus, you never give away. When you give to the kingdom, it's like an investment. God will never let you outgive him. The more you give to Jesus, yeah. the more he will give to you. That's yeah. right. Yeah. He also gives him his muscles. <laughs> Jesus gets in the boat and says, push. Push out a little bit. Push out a little bit from. Put some effort behind this thing. So many folks think once they're given a dollar, <laughs> it's okay, Pastor. Don't ask me for my time to. <laughs> God wants your energy. You've got to love God with all of your mind, soul, and strength. Yeah. When was the last time you did something in a physical, practical way for God without charge? Uh -huh. Jesus was teaching uh -huh. and preaching. Uh -huh. Peter gives him his mind. Mm -hmm. You know how, how we are? We'll shout, shout for Jesus, but don't challenge me. Don't make me think. Make me feel good. Entertain me. Stir me up emotionally. But whatever you do, don't make me think. Mm. Oh, my God. We open our mind everywhere for church. Mm. Oh, you open it at school because you got to pass the grade. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> you open it on your job because you, you got to uh, analyze and implement and review them, yes, et cetera. Yes, Lord. In the home, you got a budget, you got to keep your cable on. Mm -hmm. yes, Lord. And even in a relationship, you got to think your way as to how you're going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, college bro. <laughs> <laughs> Peter gave him his mind. This is a sound. Jesus is using to blow his mind in the way of time. He is saying, I got to get you to understand that I'm setting you up for something later. He changed his mind. Men of HOV, he was washing his nets. He was finished until Jesus told him, go back out there. Go back to your family. Go back to that son, that daughter that was taught to hate you. Go back to that cold, mean wife. Mm. Peter really wanted to argue with Jesus. Jesus, I know that you're a pretty good preacher. But Jesus, you just got here. I've been in these waters all my life. This is my area. I know these waters. And you're asking me to go back? Jesus, I told you that I've been in the same spot all night long and didn't catch anything. And you want me to go back? The Lamb of God is saying, I need you Come on. to change your mind. Yeah. If you want your mind blown, you must change it. Yeah. Peter said, say, Peter, because you said it at your word, at your word. I'll do it. Yeah. Listen, I don't care what you've tried in the past. If God mm. asks you to repeat, yeah. you don't tell God. I've already tried that. Yeah. It won't work, God. 
If God asks you to repeat, mm. God, I'll do it. Mm. God, I'll do it because you say so. And you you got to understand this thing. You are the divine order. Yes. It really ain't left up to you. That's right. When was the last time you gave yourself a day? Mm. When was the last time you gave yourself grace? into the deep yes. on the other side. Yeah. And we don't hear from Jesus until he says, don't, listen, until he says, don't be afraid. Mm. Mm. From now on, you will fish for people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peter launches out. Follow my nets are going down, fish are coming in. Well, what is Jesus doing? <laughs> he is standing back watching Peter. Mm. Mm. He is watching to see how Peter is going to handle the blessing he has. Peter, I'm just going to stand back and see how you're going to handle this blessing. You see, Peter, I got no faith. Things we are trying to do in ministry mm. can't be done in 
church started working in his home. So I'm doing miracles on his channel. Who better than Peter could witness? Listen, Father Man. If the Lord has done anything for you, you need to learn to be a witness. I'm not being rude, but I'm, I'm pointing at you because I'm asking. 
when y'all act like we be in the mall. Y'all know, listen, this safe, this is a safe space. They ask them, are you saved? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? And if they say yes, come on and praise the Lord. Some of y'all lying, but y'all ain't even asking. That's all right, God's got grace. But here's the second thing. Say, do you have a church home where you're walking in purpose? Where you're planted, where God is using you. If not, this is your moment, this is your time. Come on, tell them I'll walk with you. Tell them we'll cheer you on. Come on, God's waiting for you. It's your moment, it's your time. Hallelujah. We thank God, even for our virtual audience. Listen, if you're sharing with us today, you've given your life to Jesus Christ. If you want to be a part of our Victory family, we invite you to come. Our ministers, our administrator, our team is waiting for you. We want to reach out to you. We want to embrace you. Come on, let's give God another hand praise for the word of God. Hallelujah. We thank God that God is a mind of God. Listen, we have to go. But I'm grateful and I want to thank God again for all of these fathers. You're doing a great job. Don't give up. Keep praying. I'm telling you, prayer is the foundation. Prayer will strengthen you. Prayer will give you what you need. Prayer will get you through those times that you don't think you're going to make it. It'll give you the answers that you don't have. It'll help you when you feel like just walking away and throwing in the towel. I'm telling you, that when the father sets the tone. Somebody told me, one of my mentors, he said, Pastor, you have to remember that you are the thermostat of your home. You set the temperature, brother, for your household. And I've noticed that if I'm in a bad mood, most of the time everybody in the house is in a bad If I'm in a good mood, if I'm in a giving mood, if I'm in a loving mood, Children. We thank you, God, for money, for it.
assurance and all doctor's appointments. We thank you that our businesses are flourishing. We thank you that our careers, oh God, are blessed. We thank you, God, that you are enlarging our borders because we trust you enough to launch out into the deep. So blow our minds as we stay obedient to your word and to your will. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, make sure you can give virtually. Make sure you drop, if you have your tangible gift, make sure you can drop it in the offering box. But listen, before we go, I'm grateful, Brother Joe. Come on up here, Brother Joe. Mr. Joe is in the building, and I'm grateful for him and his lovely lady. They are blessing us today. We celebrated them not too long ago on Mother's Day. Remember her son, her cool son went on to set heaven up for them when they come years down the road. But he wants to bless our brothers with a song. Um, somebody give him a mic, because I ain't gonna give him my mic in case he can't sing. I don't wanna have my mic. I'm gonna tell y'all, when y'all see me, now I know Mr. Joe gonna bless us. Come on up here, Mr. Joe. He wants to encourage the brothers with this song, and I love this, that another man will take the time to encourage us as brothers. Um, thank you, Pastor. Bless you, sir. We're not as sharp, too. I just wanted to say first,